Hello, I'm Stephen Padre with Reconciling Works and also a voting member. We're here in Pittsburgh at the Churchwide Assembly. Today was a very big day and a historic day for the Assembly and for the Church. We finished the process of selecting a presiding bishop and we elected a new one, Elizabeth Eaton from Ohio. She's the first woman to be elected in that position. We are very excited about her and very pleased uh, to have her as our new bishop. She will take office in a few months. We are celebrating that occasion now. Reconciling Works also had its worship service this evening and celebrated the election a little while ago of Guy Irwin in California as the first openly gay and partnered uh, bishop of a synod and the first Native American bishop of, of a synod. So we have many things to celebrate at this assembly with these uh, new leaders who are blazing trails for us in the LCA. Legislation-wise, the assembly took action and passed uh, two significant pieces of legislation. One is regarding ministering to same-gender couples and their families, uh, which came out of memorials from synods, and uh, another memorial that came from synods uh, speaks about uh, inclusive, uh, trans-inclusive employment and non-discrimination. So those were uh, victories for uh, the uh, LGBTQ movement as well. So it's been a very exciting day uh, in Pittsburgh here, and we hope you will uh, tune in to find out what happens uh, tomorrow. We will be looking at the election of a secretary, uh, another major leader for our denomination.